Hey, this is Mad Matt from Budget Boosting. On one of our other videos, we talked about intake modifications. But if you want the full benefit of an intake modification, you want to do the exhaust system along with it. So today we're going to talk about how to free up your exhaust system, make it more free breathing. Because you can have your intake system breathing in real good, but if your exhaust system is not breathing out freely to match it, you know, one thing is going to be better than the other, and the engine needs to be as equal as possible. Equal to breathe in, equal to breathe out, to get the maximum performance and fuel economy. So we're going to discuss exhaust systems today. Now, I don't have a lot of stock examples because all my cars exhaust systems have been done because I'm not a fan of choking exhaust systems. So I have an example here, an example out at a 2002 Dodge Caravan, which has two mufflers on it, which one isn't enough. So two big, huge choking mufflers. Can you imagine how hard it is to expel the gases from this hungry V6 or a hungry straight six or a hungry four cylinder turbo? Can you imagine? Well, we happen to have an example here today. This is an exhaust that came off of a 260Z, and as you can see inside, it's very restrictive. Not really heavy, I guess on that old of a car, they weren't that heavy. This looks to be an aftermarket replacement, but a stock factory replacement, a stock style, because the stock ones on the Z are kind of bigger and round. And this here is a Cherry Bomb aftermarket turbo muffler. It's a nice muffler, but you can see it has a much bigger inlet, nice bigger inlet and exhaust pipe. So this is the uh, outlet, this is the inlet. As you can see, it's much larger than the OEM style muffler. So these little differences are quite a bit different when it comes to expelling exhaust gases out of the car. It's so much more smooth. And over here, I have what's called a MagnaFlow catalytic converter. It's a lot more free-flowing than the stock OEM car catalytic converter, and it weighs a lot lighter too. And now catalytic converters are really not that free-flowing anyway, but the MagnaFlow is one of the most free-flowing cats that you can buy to replace your stock cat when they go bad because catalytic converters do go bad over time. Usually about six or seven years they start really clogging and they do it gradually. And once they've clogged to the point, it will turn your spark plugs like white when you pull them out. And that white indicates a very high temperature situation which can destroy your valves, your combustion chambers, and your pistons in time. Now catalytic converters gradually fail and when they do, they choke your engine to the point where your economy is gone, your power is gone, and you're wondering, why is my engine so tired? This is the weak link. And they sell a lot of aftermarket catalytic converters at Summit Racing and several other places. You can even go to your exhaust shops and they will order them for you. There's companies like MagnaFlow, Catco, Walker, a lot of different aftermarket companies that make a better flowing cat than the factory does and at a much better price. Because you can find these MagnaFlow cats for about $140, $150, where the stock ones are going to range around $300 to $500, depending on how many cats are on your car. Like, say, for example, a Ford Mustang, they have four catalytic converters. So you're going to pay probably about two or three hundred, four hundred, five hundred dollars $500 for a factory set of four cats, we can go to the aftermarket, they'll give you two free-flowing MagnaFlows for a fraction of the price, like maybe about $150 to $170. Big difference. Anyhow, we're going to move along to the uh, Bone Stock 2002 Dodge Caravan, and we're going to look under the exhaust system, and I'm going to show you just how restrictive these factory exhausts are, and that restriction is costing you a lot of miles per gallon, and a lot of hill climbing power. That's your daily driving stuff that you deal with on a daily basis. You climb in a hill and you're the one in the slow lane struggling. Especially if that exhaust system is more than eight years old. 
it's just clogged with stuff. Anyhow, let's look at this Dodge. All right, we now have this example here of a stock exhaust. This is a 2002 Dodge Caravan. A little grocery getter family car, but hey, if you want some more performance, hill climbing power, you know, that stuff you use on a daily basis, going from light to light, you don't want to be the slowest car on the street getting your horn honked at all the time. Well, here it is. You got to see this stock exhaust. It's very restrictive. So we'll work our way down. Look at the little pea shooter it's got out the back. Look at that. Talk about a struggle that V6 has to work to get that, to expel all those exhaust gases out. Look at the struggle. Can you see the second muffler that's right by the tip and the first muffler that's forward of that? And we're probably looking at about 50 pounds worth of mufflers too. So it's not really effective, except from the factory. I mean, it chokes your engine to the point where you're using all kinds of fuel, making the big fuel companies very happy. Yeah, granted, it's not really bad fuel economy, but it can be so much better by just making it breathe better. Now, take a better look at this factory exhaust system from the side, which you'll see is very restrictive and very large. It's almost a three-foot muffler right there. A three-foot muffler, that's one out of two mufflers. There's two mufflers on this car to where it sounds like Gosh, it sounds like wind. It sounds like the blowing of wind. You can't even hear your engine and you can hear all that locked up power just dying to get out. So there's things you can do to free flow this exhaust. What I would do is since it's not legal to mess with the catalytic converter until it goes bad, well, if this catalytic converter is more than eight years old, nine times out of 10, it's bad. So you want to take that cat, replace it with a free-flowing cat, as long as it's legal in your state to use, because a lot of places sell aftermarket cats, and they say in small print, not for use in California vehicles. Well, the rest of the 49 states, it's fine. Well, I heard New York, too, is another one. They're right with California when it comes to what kind of cats you can replace your cats with. They only allow you to replace it with the OEM exact cat which is usually, you know, $300 plus. Well, if you're in all the other states, you can get any catalytic converter, which gives you a lot of, a lot of, uh, a lot of options. There's cats that are three and a half inches in and out, which is huge. That's like 50% more breathing, and they have a lot less of those screens in there, so they breathe right. But they still will pass the most stringent of exhaust probes that test when they go to smog test your car, they'll pass, no problem. The problem is, some states you can't get the good stuff. So if you're in one of those states where you can, get these all, all these great aftermarket cats and that will get your engine to breathe better. And those two mufflers we saw under the car, we'd replace them with some free flowing welded mufflers or turbo mufflers. And we'd only put one muffler on instead of two. So we'd replace that big long three foot probably 40 pound muffler boat anchor. We'd replace it with a nice, small, lightweight turbo muffler and just do exhaust tubing all the way to the tip or come out with a side pipe right before the rear wheel. There's no need for two big restrictive mufflers. There's <laughs> choking the hell out of your engine. No need. And just free flowing your exhaust system like that. And if your cat's in good shape, you just do what's called a cat back exhaust. You go back use nice free flow tubing, go to a nice free flow turbo muffler or a welded muffler. Thrush makes them, Flowmaster makes them. So many companies out there make nice free flowing mufflers that'll replace these heavy boat anchors that are just taking up space and making your exhaust system really heavy so the hangers are straining and one day the hangers will finally break and you'll have 40 pounds just dangling off the ground, bouncing off and down the ground and you know, making sparks and everything, and it'd be stranded on the side of the road because of some heavy-ass exhaust dragon. So, okay, well, let's go look at some examples of exhaust systems that have been upgraded. Well, this is a 1986 300ZX Turbo. This is an example of an exhaust that I've done a free-flow exhaust on. 
I went to a very good reputable muffler shop and I let them know what to do. I looked under the car from the factory, it had a really big large heavy cat which was replaced with a nice free flowing one like a MagnaFlow and the nice big exhaust tubing was done all the way to the muffler at the tip. This I would say was more of an economy exhaust because that muffler was only about $20. Maybe just a little bit more than $20 at AutoZone. You can buy these little 3A mufflers. They're really cheap. They're very light. And they're, you can look right through them. They're free flow. But yet, it's not obnoxiously loud. So, it's great. Free flow. 20 25 bucks. You have an exhaust shop welded on. Talk about a budget exhaust system right there. You just get some nice, bigger, free-flowing tubing. And any exhaust shop with the tube bender can do that for you. They probably charge you maybe a hundred bucks. So maybe for $120, $130, you have a nice free flowing cat back exhaust. Legal, sounds good, gives you a lot more economy because the factory muffler on this car was like this. Big and round, it's about 15, 20 pounds, it was heavy. Not to mention there was a cat that was like, gosh, that was 30 pounds all by itself. And I replaced it with a nice free flowing MagnaFlow. Breathes great, powerful, boost response is so much better than from the factory. So hey, you know, that's exhaust systems in a nutshell. I mean, the factory exhaust is so choking and restrictive, and you open it up and let it breathe with the right muffler and the right cat, so you got your intake going in nice and smooth, and your exhaust flowing out nice and smooth. That's at least five to seven miles to the gallon if not more. And not to mention that power when you go up the hills, you got a lot more power with a lot less throttle. On a turbo car you get faster boost response, really fast boost response and very little turbo lag which is you know a problem for a lot of factory vehicles, how long the turbo takes to react. Well the more free flow your intake and exhaust is, the faster your turbo responds and the less turbo lag you have. So hey, fuel economy, power, less turbo lag, it's win-win-win and it's a lighter exhaust system than your factory because a heavy exhaust system puts a lot of strain on your exhaust hangers which eventually a stock exhaust hanger is going to fail even though they got like six of them some of them are going to fail the rubber dry rots and breaks and you have this big old heavy muffler going bah, 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 dragging on the ground you got to pull over and deal with it with a light exhaust system you're not going to worry about that it's so light, the hanger's not even working hard, and it's not going to fall off. Good quality exhaust system that the factory just didn't do very well. But hey, they have their reasons for doing it. <coughs> Choking your engine. Anywho, that was our talk about exhaust systems. How to do a budget exhaust system, save money. You know, the factory exhaust just doesn't breathe like it should and you can get a lot more miles to gallon, a lot more fuel economy on a budget. Well, thank you for watching us at Budget Boosting. If you like our videos, like them on Facebook, like them on YouTube, subscribe to our YouTube page, and look at our website, budgetboosting.com. And soon we're gonna be selling our Budget Boosting stickers. We just got our shipment in today. $20, buy it now eBay auctions. Free shipping. And remember, as always, knowledge is power. It's horsepower. But ever since I converted to electric fan, look how clean everything is. I had room for my intercooler right here. I had room for my intake right here, because before there was only this much room and there's where the factory air cleaner was. And look at how clean it is. I mean, there's just so much room now that I put an electric fan on here.